long time no see. I haven't filmed a video in a while. I did film some a couple weeks ago. I've been meaning to get around to filming. I know even on weekends I should have free time because I work during the week, but somehow I just never really got the time. I had so many things to get through and then, yeah, the setting just wasn't right. I need things to be kind of perfect to film. So yeah, sorry about the absence if you are wondering why I'm like filming so infrequently, but I'm gonna try and be really like diligent with my uploading schedule now and I have some time off, so I'm gonna be filming and pre-filming a lot. So I have a, some really cool ideas coming up and loads more hauls and reviews, which I know you guys love. So today's gonna be all empties, as you know. These are pretty much all drugstore products. There's one or two slightly higher end products, but I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. And do thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy this and if you want more empties and reviews in the future. So I have a couple of shower gels here to show you guys. First one is from Molten Brown which I wouldn't normally purchase. I believe these are probably a little bit more expensive. I imagine between 10 and 15 pounds. So these are on average, how much? 100 mil. So it's not large um, for a shower gel that is pretty small. That's almost even travel size. But I always get these free in advent calendars or just, yeah, like little packs like that, like value packs. So I was quite lucky to try out two already for free. And this one is the Jasmine and Sun Rose. I did give this to my mum because she really likes rose so I thought I would just give her that part of my advent calendar and it's a bath and shower gel so if you wanted to use it as like a bubble bath gel you can. The name doesn't really describe what it smells like but if you have smelt jasmine or you like that scent in perfumes you might know it's like a deeper slightly muskier scent and then the rose kind of lifts it up makes it a little bit lighter and softer very feminine and yeah it smells like a really deep perfume I'm not gonna lie like molten brown is very luxurious so it does kind of smell just like a perfume but if you don't if you aren't sensitive to like perfume products then I definitely recommend it treat yourself or maybe put it on a birthday list or something definitely think it's worth a try it doesn't even have to be that scent they have loads and yeah the consistency of that one was actually really nice it feels really soft on your skin like almost you're applying like a gel or something like it just glides over the skin really nicely a little bit does go a long way it's very similar to the body shop shower gels actually where it lathers up super easily as soon as it like mixes with water and it creates like a really soft bubbly layer over your skin if that makes sense so i really enjoyed using it it felt very pampering and luxurious probably would work amazingly as bath gel as well which i never tried but yeah it does linger after a while as well so when i left the bathroom i could still smell it which is amazing because it does seem to be really good value for money. So if you do want to shell out a little bit extra for like a pampering shower gel, then definitely recommend Molten Brown. And now I have a second shower gel, which again, I just kind of mentioned, the Body Shop Pink Grapefruit. So I picked this up recently in a haul you may have seen, and I do love the shower gels from here. Don't always use them, but I think I will stick with them because again, the scent lingers really, really well. Like even after leaving the bathroom, I can still smell this and I do think I just mentioned this in my recent favorites video so I won't babble on too much but I always pick up a shower gel when I do a body shop haul and it doesn't have to be pink grape for anything but I just thought I'd get like a summery scent this time and yeah it also has the same consistency as molten brown slightly different um, it's a little bit more watery but uh, I do apply quite a lot and it does lather up really nicely does glide over the skin really softly and again it lingers on the skin afterwards so next time I might buy the, a mix of the shower gel and body lotion so it really kind of amplifies that scent then I have actually a couple more body shop products so I'll go through that so the next two are hair products first one is the banana conditioner and I used this up quite a while ago I did try the whole range I do like the mask the best it's a thicker consistency and it kind of obviously soaks into the hair for a lot longer I apply it for at least five to ten minutes also apologies for my nails let's try and not look at them I forgot to paint them before the video and what else can I say it's for normal to dry hair and it's meant to be like a softening nourishing product so banana as an, as an ingredient is meant to make your hair shinier and softer I did find that my hair was more manageable and softer I wouldn't say it had a long-term effect like the ends of my hair still got kind of dry but overall I did really enjoy using it. It has a nice pleasant scent, smells very sweet, almost exactly like bananas, like you're just applying a banana to your hair. My hair was a little bit softer, a little bit more manageable, but I wouldn't say it had like any crazy long-term effects, but it's pretty inexpensive. I think that retails for about five or six pounds, so 
you don't really have to shell out a lot of money, but I would recommend going for the mask if you do want something from the range. So second body shop hair product is the Grapeseed Glossing Serum. I picked this up, this is only my second bottle. I tried my first one years ago, really liked it and realized that I do like applying a serum and oil to my hair. So I bought this sometime last year and I only just got around to using it up. So it's 75 ml, which is quite a small pack. Like you'd think this doesn't last that long, but it's a oil texture. So you just pump out um, like one or two, I would say, and then just work it through the lengths of your hair and the ends and it's obviously like an oil consistency so you don't want to weigh it down with like loads it's not the same as like an, a serum or cream having said that it wasn't sticky it didn't leave residue it blended in and kind of sunk, sunk into the hair really nicely I feel like it really yeah penetrated the follicles nicely at follic hair follicles hair lengths hair strands and yeah it smells really nice smells of grapes kind of I wouldn't kind of I wouldn't I don't know if it had a long-term effect but it definitely made my hair feel nicer smoother got rid of all like the frizz and flyaways and yeah just made it look healthier because it added that shine to it that's the kind of product you like to use maybe on like wet hair you want to apply a nice serum or oil you have slightly finer hair I think that could still work for you really well I want to say it's between seven and ten pounds again it's quite a small package but I only applied one or two pumps to my hair on each side like because my hair's quite long so yeah I needed one or two pumps per side but again it lasted me like four months of regular use so it's really good value for money I'll probably repurchase it I'd probably not yet because I have a loads have loads of hair care products I'm waiting to use at the moment but sometime down the line I will probably repurchase it then I have some random kind of body products oh I do actually have one more hair product so this again is a little bit more high-end it's from L'Occitane which I thought was um L'Occitane I don't know, is that a normal thing to assume? But yeah, apparently it's pronounced L'Occitane. And this is a conditioner, not a shampoo. But I had the shampoo for this as well. I don't know why I threw it out. It's the Radiance and Color Care range. And I think it's quite old because my aunt gave this to me. She never used it. And yeah, the packaging looks kind of a little bit older from one of their previous ranges, but it's a 75 ml conditioner for color treated hair, which works because I don't actually have dye applied to my hair, but it does have like a kind of unnatural color ad added to it, if that makes sense. I've been lightening my hair. So hopefully that helped maintain the blondness of my hair a little bit. Probably won't repurchase really it. Didn't notice it did anything for my hair. It was a little bit watery, like one of those very, very light conditioners. So if you do have very fine or thin hair, that will work for you, I think, because it won't weigh it down, it won't make it greasy or anything, easy to wash out. Um, has quite a pleasant scent, a very kind of natural herbal type of scent. But again, didn't really do much for my hair, so wasn't super impressed. Okay, next I have some body and skin care. First one is another high-end product. This is from Clinique. It's called the Pore Refining Solutions mattifying hydrator so it's for dry to combination dry combination to oily so it kind of gets a whole spectrum of skin types there so i think it could work for anyone 100 percent fragrance free allergy tested i don't really buy into that stuff um like dermatologically tested everything has to be tested prior to you know releasing it so those kind of claims don't mean a lot to me but it says that after mattifying it's an oil-free formula which prevents excess oil and shine for eight hours. So the fact that it says pore refining, I didn't actually notice it change the texture of my skin, didn't make my pores smoother or smaller. So that name is a little bit deceiving, I think. But yeah, definitely didn't make my skin oily. It is a very, very light texture, as they say. Felt like a very light serum, but still added a little bit of moisture. So if that's the kind of product you wanted to use prior to using, you know, a thicker moisturizer or something, you don't want to forego moisturizing in the morning because that is just going to produce excess oil, maybe produce more acne. You just want to regulate your skin by moisturizing it well, but then also maybe using a mattifying product like this or setting it with powder. But I used to use like very drying products on my skin and it just made it even worse so yeah definitely don't be scared off from like oils or moisturizers if you have oily skin I have oily skin I use thick moisturizers every day but something like that is a great addition if you do suffer with blemishes and acne things like that it just kind of creates a nice little base for 
on your face uh, just to prevent oil throughout the day. Like I said, it didn't change my text texture of my skin, didn't do anything crazy for my skin, so I won't purchase it. Also, not a massive fan of Clinique because I don't believe they are cruelty free. But yeah, generally as a product, it worked pretty well. So if that's the kind of thing you want, maybe go for that. But uh, it's also a little bit higher end, so you're gonna have to shell out a little extra money. Personally, for me, I prefer brands like Makeup Revolution. They're very affordable, and for me, they're tried and tested. So I won't repurchase that, but again, it's up to you, whatever you wanna take away from this review. And next, I have a body oil and finally moisturizer. So first one, one of my absolute favorites. Always mention this, always buy it, so I won't babble on, but it's the Palm Palmer's Cocoa Butter Skin Therapy Oil and again it's um, you know just an all-round really great body oil for scars, stretch marks, damaged skin, aging skin, so all age ranges, any skin issue you have. Um, I think you know a lot of us girls will have stretch marks maybe around the hips. I do. So any kind of imperfections you have, scars even like they say, it does help a little bit. Obviously I you know I do have some scars that I was using applying the oil on. It doesn't miraculously make them disappear or heal completely, but I felt like my skin texture was smoother. It did look a little bit better. It definitely moisturized my skin, prevented redness. I just really found that overall it felt really nice on the skin. It also has vitamin E and I believe cocoa butter or yeah, and shea butter, which all their products have. It's 150 ml, decent size, has a nice pump. The only thing, um, the only issue I have is that the pump sprays sometimes everywhere, like little droplets will sometimes go over my room, which is a bit annoying, but doesn't happen all the time. Um, it's easy to apply and it's a non-sticky oil, which I love the most, because I do really like applying an oil overnight because that makes my skin the softest. So definitely would recommend it to you guys. I recommend it to myself. I'm gonna repurchase it again. So let me know if you test it out. I know in the UK it's available in Boots and Superdrug. That one retails for about 10 pounds. So it's a little bit pricier. I do think the claims that they make, they do pretty much like hold up to be honest. I've been using it for months and my skin definitely does look good after applying it. Finally, I have a little mini Soap and Glory product here. It's the Righteous Butter Body Moisturizer. It's for very dry skin. I do believe it's just suitable for any skin type. There's no, you know, I think for your body, like all products will work the same for everyone to be honest. But it's just their classic Righteous Butter, which I think it has rose and a few other kind of floral extracts. So it does feel really nice to apply. Just a typical kind of body butter formula. So if you've tried the Body Shop, very similar to that, those body butters. It's like a thicker moisturizer, but again, it's not super heavy, it's not sticky. So I used it during the summer. I also used it as just hand cream. And it has some natural oil extracts as well, so it does feel very nourishing on the skin. Definitely gonna repurchase it, love Soap and Glory, and they're definitely cruelty free from what I know. Those are all the products. Try to get through them as quickly and efficiently as possible. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that, maybe found some useful recommendations to try out. And do thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Bye.